the Andes. Andes mountains or Andean mountains are the longest continental mountain range on the world, forming a continuous highland along the western edges of South America. Hello and welcome to It's Tomorrow News and this is Hena Talati. The range is 6,999 kilometers long, 200 to 700 kilometers wide and has an average height of about 4,000 meters. The Andes extend from north to south through seven South American countries, that is Venezuela. The Andes are the location of several high plateaus. The Andes mountains are highest mountain range outside Asia. The highest mountain outside Asia, Argentina's Mount Aconcoagua, rises to an elevation of about 6,961 meters above the sea level. The peak of the Chimborazo in the Ecuadorian Andes is farther from the Earth's center than any other location on the Earth's surface due to the equatorial bulge resulting from the Earth's rotation. The world's highest volcanoes are in the Andes, including Ojos de Salado on the Chile-Argentina border, which rises to 6,893 meters. The Andes Mountains run the length of west coast of South America, rising in the north in Colombia and finishing in the Chile and Argentina in the south. The mountains have been formed as a result of the convergence of the Nazca Plate and the South American Plate. The heavier oceanic crust of the Nazca Plate is pushed towards the South American Plates and because it is denser, is subducted underneath. The South American plate is less dense, so sits on the top of this uh, subduction zone, but the rocks of the South American plates have been folded upwards and crumpled into fold mountains. There are also volcanoes and earthquakes along the destructive plate boundary earthquakes caused by the stresses building up as the two plates try to move past one another and volcanoes caused by the magma working its way up through the vents in the Earth's crust. This has created a sequence of volcanoes and fold mountains rising up to 6,962 meters at the Aconcagua. The trench of the west of the Andes Mountains is called the Peru Chile Trench and reaches an incredible depth of 8,066 meters under the sea level. However, the timing of when the Andean mountains change uplift occurred has been the topic of some controversial over the past 10 years. The prevailing view is that the Andes became a mountain range between 10 to 6 million years ago when a huge volume of rock dropped off the base of the Earth's crust in response to the over thickening of the crust in this region. When this large portion of the dense material was removed, the remaining portion of the crust underwent rapid uplift. The timing of such uplift is important in helping scientists to understand how mountains form, how they erode and how the impact this may have on global atmospheric circulation patterns and climate. These areas are very hard to live in because of the physical geography. The relief is very steep making farming difficult and high altitude makes the breathing difficult. The mountainous terrain makes it difficult to construct roads and railways to allow for communications. The mountain slopes of the Andes are used for a variety of the farming practices. The best land can be found on the valley floors, but an indigenous system of terraces dug into the valley sides and held up by retaining walls has been used to bring the lands on the valley sides into the food production. The flat terraces help to hold up water in the region where there are marked shortages. Most crops are grown in the lower areas include soya, maize, rice and cotton. However, the main staple crop of the Andes is potatoes and there are hundreds of the different varieties found in the mountains. The Andes Mountains of the South America are the most species-rich biodiversity hotspot for plants and species in the world. But the forest that climbs up this mountain ridge provides another important service to humanity. 
Indian forests are helping to protect the planet by acting as a carbon sink, absorbing carbon dioxide and keeping some of the climate altering gas out of the circulation according to a new research published in the Nature Communications. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.